Hi there everyone, I'm Danny, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go To Space. Today I'm bringing you a video on the Finnish god Uko, requested by JS. He is a god of thunder, weather, the sky and even of the harvest, and is sometimes said to be a father god or head god, much like Zeus. He rules over the heavenly court with Akka, his wife. Uko would create thunderstorms by driving around in his chariot and had a hammer as a weapon, much like Thor. Although sometimes it is said to be a flaming sword or an axe, it was named Ukon Vasara. With this weapon, he would create lightning. He also became a god of fertility, strangely enough. His believers would ask for his protection during labour and to ask for swift recoveries, also for their cattle, during hunting and even for protection against evil beings. His believers would offer up a sacrifice by putting lamb or mutton in a birch wood chest that had been in a specific holy area. They believed that the god would eat his share of the meat during the nighttime hours, and they would then consume the rest the day after. Maybe they would have one of these sites on Ukon Kivi, or Uko's rock. It's a holy site in Lapland within Lake Inari. The Sami people worshipped here, and what could be archaeological finds of offerings have actually been discovered. Uko doesn't have that many symbolic items assigned to him, but he's got the ladybird, which is named Ukon Lama, meaning Uko's cow, which is just adorable. He also had the great mullion plant, which is called Uko's fire flower. There are also some recordings that have hinted at the rowan tree also being attributed to him. This is a sacred tree to a lot of different beings, so it could also actually be the case here as well. A few other symbols attributed to him, along with a hammer, obviously, are an axe and sword, an arrow, and a club, but specifically a golden club. Warriors took to praying to him, as he might protect them during a battle, by giving them an umpiputki, or some kind of protective charm. A midsummer festival was held, Ukon Jula, or Festival of Uko. This continued up until the 19th century, but as Christianity came in, the festival evolved into Johannes, named after John the Baptist. Another festival is the Vaka Julat, Ukon Vakat, or just simply known as Vakat, which is held in May. They would drink an alcoholic drink out of a vessel as a form of sacrifice in a sacred grove, and it was to ensure a great harvest and fair weather for the following year. This festival was believed to have continued up until 1910, despite Christianity trying to dampen anything that could be classed as idolatry. Well, that's all I have on this Finnish Thunder God. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you JS for the request, and to all of you who watched. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one, in the comment section and on Twitter. Bye!